love you, hi boo. <laughs> love you, love you, love you. Shad Court is gone. Court was too fine. Court was skinny and fine. I'm like, no. I need black with a little belly. Huge. I don't know why. I've always liked a dark skin. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't like super fine guys. I don't. I like a different fine. I don't need no motherfucker finding me. You finding me, we would not work. That's just not going to work. Now, Marla, you know damn well you'll never be having. You know what? You might be true. You might be telling the truth. I don't be behaving. <laughs> it's the Aquarius in me. It's the Aquarius. You be fine. Stay beautiful and real. Don't let you, don't don't let your realness look like flawless. Oh, uh, y'all be too my horn. I swear y'all do. Y'all are like Marla. You're fabulous. You're beautiful, and I love that because. Being just a black African American woman, a brown woman, not super light skin, it means the world to me. Even though I was raised by a super light skin woman, in our household, it never was an issue with color. And it's so weird when I hear people say like, oh, I was raised and my family made me feel this way or that way. My mother, they called her Big Red. It was three siblings who were super light skin. It was me, my other sister, my brother, and we were brown skin. And we didn't feel no other way. So I really do, seriously, I feel sorry for anyone who grew up in a family that made you feel like you were less because you were darker. You are fucking beautiful. You are fabulous. And mom, if you're watching this story, I want to just thank you, Emma, for never, ever giving me a complex about my skin. Because, bitch, I had big feet, tall, skinny, deep voice. And my mama just raised us to where we were just so fucking cocky and... I thought I was the goddamn lightest woman in the room, wavy as hair. And it's like I never paid attention to um, color. I didn't. I didn't. Like, I will say that about my mom. Um, that's one thing when I hear my other friends talk about color and complexion. That was never something I worried about at home. We never talked about skin colors. We just talked about your character. And at the end of the day, uh, character is everything to me. It's all about your character. It's not about you. You can be light skin, and dark skin, and be an asshole. You can be light skin, and dark skin, and be fucking amazing. And I'm fucking amazing. I am. And I don't need anyone to validate that because I know who I am. I'm an Aquarius. I'm, an, I'm a true Aquarius. And I'm lost right now. I went the wrong way, but just talk to y'all anyway okay uh thank you for loving my confidence because you have to love it hey ball hey ball edge is growing though hey janisha ball edges is growing see listen hamptons who truly love me hey escort hey janisha let me get them shots out because janisha innocent and half their pages are fake but um you guys it's important because everyone's not gonna like you they're not. Everyone's not going to like you. They're going to hate you. They're going to try and belittle you because of their insecurities, because of their juju, whatever they got going on. No, I don't think I'm light skin. I think I'm brown. My mom is like a red bone yellow. They used to call my mom a big red. So I don't think that I'm, uh, I don't even know the hell I'm going, y'all. I'm so lost right now. Let me turn around and go the other way. Probably I think I need to go right back the other way. Oh, did y'all like Marlo's closet? I Listen, the other night I was getting my hair done. Theo was in town from New York, right? And I was getting my hair done. And I was like, you know what? Pull up Marlo's closet. And when you pulled it up, I'm like, damn it. I really should have went back to Marlo's closet. So, you guys think I should do it again? They hate real, but don't be good. Listen. What I realized, who is that? Uh, let me see what that is. Gemini, I-S-L-M underscore three. What I realized is that no matter what you do, you're not going to please everyone. And it's okay for everyone not to like you. It's so okay. And it took a while for me to realize that. 
because no matter what you do, they're going to have some to say. So at the end of the day, you got to do what the fuck makes you happy. And I always do what makes me happy. I do what makes me happy. I'm here for every little black girl who's imperfect because imperfect is fucking amazing. Like, I remember when I went to go have lipo, right? The doctor said, hey, do you want to take a little of the fat and put in your thighs? No. I mean, your hips. Because you don't have no hips. I'm straight up and down the front. But I have a natural ass, natural no hips. And the only thing I have that's fake is a flatter stomach. Okay, I'll take that. I don't have no, I don't have veneers. I don't have fake boobs. Only thing I have is that I've had some fat taken out my stomach. So the doctor, as a matter of fact, the one that Nini went to, Dr. Kuro, when he was um, doing my lipo, he's like, do you want me to take some of the fat and put in your hips? I'm like, Dr. Kuro, I'm in my 40s. I ain't never had hips. And I ain't going to get no goddamn hips not in my 40s. But he did a fucking amazing job. He's an amazing doctor. Um, got my stomach flat. You know, I went to eat and it got back fat, but it is what it is. I love you too, Bogart7259. So it's just like, in this world that we're living in, it's so hard to really be who you are. <clears throat> to really just be who you are and just love yourself. Because nowadays, y'all got social media. And you're looking at, hi, I'm number one. I love you too, baby. I've been loving you forever. You know that. But I, it's hard in this world when you can be in my age in my 40s and y'all and y'all. My, uh, okay, my phone is charging now. It's, uh, it's sad because we came home, we went outside and we played hide, go get and house until the sun, until the lights went out. Y'all just, y'all literally only live by social media. <laughs> Y'all live by who got what, who got what purse, half of them fake. And it's so funny because when I look at the girls, I'm like, girl, I've been doing this shit before you was even born. You know what I mean? And I just feel that you got to love yourself. Stop um, going by what everyone else has and what they're doing. And when I really realized I was grown is when I didn't have to show everything. I don't show half the shit I do. I don't show half the um, nonprofits I support. I don't show half the shit I do for back home. I don't show y'all half of nothing that I do as in stunting or giving. Because I want y'all to love me. And guess what? Y'all love me. But y'all be cursing me the hell out too when I like go off on people. When I be doing the most. But at least I accept that. Because I know if I went to showing you all the things I do for the neighborhood and for the community. And people like my mom. And people like my sister. You're like, oh my god, I love her. Mm -mm. I want you to just love me for me. I don't need you to see what I do. I don't need you to see it. Because the man up above sees it. And that's the only person I'm really concerned about. I just want you to know at the end of the day.
Now, given Frankie's severe height disadvantage, the